So before we jump into the guide for Doom Eternal, Hell and Earth, level one, I just want to let you know that this is meant to be an in-depth guide. So if you're looking for something specific that you might have missed along the way or you're playing these levels back, check the description below for time links to each of the cheat codes, the secrets, the toys, the battle areas. They're all down below. So without further ado, let's jump into a guide for Hell on Earth in Doom Eternal level one. All right, so once you load in, you're presented with these guys, which is basically just zombie fodder. If you keep them around later as you're facing harder demons, they serve as a good way to regenerate health. So here, we first learn about glory kills. So for me, I'm playing on the PC in a web browser on Google Stadia. When you damage a demon enough, it becomes staggered and begins to flash. When close, press E or mouse 4 to glory kill it. Glory killing always spawns health drops. The less health you have, the more health drops the demons spawn. So if you're low on health and you stagger a demon, there's one behind me, they're going to drop more health. Sometimes you kill them outright, depending on where you hit them. So now we're going to pick up the chainsaw, and we're also faced with our first secret. But first, we're going to learn how to use the chainsaw. Press C to instantly chainsaw demons and refill your ammo. The chainsaw requires fuel, gas canister. Pickups refuel the chainsaw. One fuel pip slowly refuels over time. So here you have unlimited pips, or so to speak. Actually, no, they give you three to start with. And you can see it down there on the bottom right side of the screen, depleting as I chainsaw these guys. So now I've got none left, but they give me a refill. Some demons require more fuel pips to actually be able to one-shot them with the chainsaw. Okay, so now that we have that, we need to punch this big cube from the other side. Punchables. Punchables are obstacles the player can move by punching the green seal. Perfect example, big green seal. Punch it. So press space to jump into the air. Press space again while in the air to double jump. Some traversal requires double jumping. So like this, if I need to get above this, a single jump's not going to do it. Double jump and kind of aiming at the edge of these things, that's what's going to get you up. But first, let's get this secret. So head on back and look for this gray wall. Punch it to break through, and it immediately tells you the secret's been found. So now that we've found the secret, run to the end, double jump up, grab the ledge, and you found a toy, a zombie. Okay, so continuing on, double jump to get up here. Got a helmet for some armor, and we see our first weapon mod. So, weapon mod selection tutorial. This is the weapon mod selection screen. Interact with a mod bot, and then unlock a mod for an available weapon. Use mods to expand each weapon's gameplay behavior. So, my recommendation to you is to pick the sticky bombs first. They don't cost extra shotgun shells, and they spawn have a great explosion radius. To activate a weapon mod, press or hold mouse 2 and then press mouse 1 to fire. Read each mod's description in the dossier to learn more. Search the environment to locate more mod bots and expand your weapon's capabilities. So there's three mod bots in this first stage. So you'll see what I mean. I was able to kill both of them with one shotgun shot in the explosion that the sticky bombs cause. That green again, we can punch it. And we're into our first battle room. In order to proceed, you have to kill all the monsters in this room. So 
So your best bet is to keep moving. But if you get in a situation like this where you're running low on health, there is health around. But don't be afraid to run away and then get yourself back in the fight. There's shotgun shells kind of placed about the room. This game, again, is very much about resource management, and your resources is your, is your ammo. So that completes this room, and it opened that door because we killed all the monsters in this room. The next item here is a codex for hell barges. So continuing on, there's six codexes in total. We've got a cutscene here. I love how he straightens his crown. So now we're on the second area. There's a huge demon there. The first hell priest has been terminated. The demonic consumption of Earth has been reduced by 36.8%. There are two hell priests remaining. So we get our second codex out of the six, and we have our second mod bot. So now we can pick up full auto, and it's going to teach us how we can switch between them in combat. So if we're in the middle of combat and you want to switch your mods out, just hit F. Now we're back to sticky bombs. Full auto. And like I said, I love sticky bombs, so I'm sticking with them. That's going to teach us about the objective marker. So if I had left alt, in this case, it's right here. So there's another secret up top. You can get there by double jumping. You'll grab the ledge, head around the corner, and we found the Doom Slayer toy. Oh, he's about to jump up. Some shotgun shells over here. Some armor. So continuing on. Got a swing on that bar to get to the next area. And we learn about the Arcanotron. And that he has a weak point. So you can see in the graphic, the intent is to disable that weak point so that he stops firing on you from range. So let him settle. And then aim for his weak point. The shotgun and specifically the sticky bombs I've found is kind of the best way to deal with them. They are tough though.
And remember, use those guys as kind of a way to get your health back. Because they're easy to stun and easy to kill. They don't move very fast. Ran out of ammo. Helmet down here. So now we've gotten to the next area. It shows us that gate. And if you're not quite sure where to go, it's up there. Remember, use that left alt to let you know where your next objective actually is. So let's head on to the next area. And we get our next weapon, the heavy cannon. So in my case, again, I'm playing in a browser. So if I hold Q and I mouse up, I can change back to the combat shotgun. If I hold Q and mouse right, I can change to the heavy cannon. We come across our first map. So auto map stations. Finding an auto map station will reveal all undiscovered areas on the map. You can view the map in the map tab of the dossier. So if we mouse around the map, for me, I have to left click and hold. If I want to rotate it, I right click and hold. And you can see there's a toy back there, a codex that we picked up. The green swords indicate that we passed that battle. And there's some more battles to come. You can see them up there. So we've got another secret coming up. Now there's a suit of armor up top here that you can grab that'll help out with this area. I'm going to clear these guys, and then we'll grab our next secret. It benefits you a lot to kind of hang on to those gas canister charges, because if you have three, you can instantly kill Arcanotran demons. which we're about to face one. You can kind of hear them there. All right, so if you've got three canisters, you can instant kill them. All right, so let's head back to the front of the Scott building. So there's the bell. There's the Scott building. And here's your shipping container. Here's also a look at the map. Hop on top of this shipping container and double jump into this area. There's a wall right here that you can break. You can drop down and pick your secret. In this case, it's the imp toy. So as we enter this next area, we've got the ability to grab some ammo here. And there is a codex, Remaining Human Populations Part 2, as well as 
an extra life. So now that those two shields are down off those doors, we can proceed to the next area. Let's move on to the garage area. Some ammo here. More ammo here. And we've got this yellow access door that we need to get access to, which leads us to the subway. But first, tons of ammo around here. Break this wall. Three shots for these zombies. Waste of ammo. So you can see on my right here, as soon as I deal with these guys, okay, so if you break this wall, you get an extra life and an additional secret. So now we're going to learn about wall climbing. So as I approach this wall, if you have tutorials on, it's going to show you how to climb walls. And in my case, you need to jump at the wall and press E to grip the wall. You can turn around and jump off the wall, but you have to be at least somewhat close for that to show up and actually work. So here's our yellow key card to get access to our yellow door. We jump back. Low on ammo, but we know there's a ton around here. Double check this spot, which had some extra shotgun shells for me and some extra health, which I should have grabbed. So let's grab that extra health. So now that we've got our key card, we can access the door. And we're now on to the subway. Okay, so let's head through the subway. The subway, when you first do this, can be pretty tough. You've got an Arcano Demon you have to deal with in here. And you end up pretty limited on resources by the time you get to him. But if you've been saving up, your chainsaw pips. You can chainsaw him. Because Arcano Demons require three pips of fuel to be able to chainsaw them. So you can instantly kill him if you remember to save them up. we come across our third and final mod bot. So I would highly recommend you go with Precision Bolt. It gives you a sniper rifle. Got some health in here. And then we also pick up our grenade. So now we're introduced to the Kaka Demon, and it's one of the main reasons you want Sticky Bomb equipped for your shotgun. Makes it a heck of a lot easier to deal with these guys. In order to get across here, you're simply going to jump, grab the pipe, it happens automatically, and double jump. Now we're into our next battle area. Oh. Be sure to grab him while he's disabled.
if you're a bad shot like me, don't be afraid to let these guys settle into a position before you start trying to shoot at them. And just keep moving. Fuel canister, so we're at two pips. And we've now got another Arcano Demon to deal with. I'm lower on ammo than I want to be. So there's some ammo down here. We'll see if we can't snipe off his long range attachment. Got it. But I fell out. Alright, so we still got some health down here. Let them melee you. There's going to be one more that pops out of that door shortly. But we got to kill a few more guys first. Okay, I'm just trying to conserve ammo. Some armor down here. Do remember that when you're using that sniper rifle, it eats up six bullets. Uh, he should be coming out soon. Where are you? There he is. Let's see if we can't snipe that off quickly. And hit him with some sticky bombs. Remember, don't let them melee you. Great job. Done with this area. Let's get some of the ammo we left around before we head to the next area. Fill back up on health. I think that was it. Yep. That's it. Continuing on. A little bit of ammo here. And a caco demon. I have no sticky. So just have to deal with them. If you do have sticky bombs and you attack him and he's still over here and you glory kill him, you end up falling off the ledge. So be careful. Now, this part confused me quite a bit when I first approached here because I didn't understand that you can jump straight up while you're on a climbing wall. So let me show you. So attach to the wall, hold up or forward, and then jump. So once you've reached the top, you can actually turn around, if you'd like, and double jump to get this armor. And then just simply repeat, climbing that wall again. And make sure you're facing straight up and jump.
And we're coming up on another codex. Which is there. That's formation of the arc. Now we come across our first tentacle. So stay back. I have to use up a pip here. Again, just conserve as much ammo as you can. I'm going to come across another tentacle. And here is a secret. And this one is a cheat code, so infinite lives. Cheat codes allow you to replay missions through mission select with special modifiers, infinite ammo, all runes. Playing with cheat codes does not disable progression, replay missions to find missing items, win additional combat encounters, and experiment with locked weapons or upgrades. Cool, right? All right, so once you drop down, head back this way. and up the stairs. There's two ammo containers there. I used them both. Sometimes you end up with leftovers. And I do have a sticky bomb for him. Careful of those red containers. They do explode. So once we get here, this is the next battle area you're headed into. All right, so now we have to climb into this next area, which is a battle area. So as you climb up to turn around and jump, as is always a good idea, <laughs> total miss, uh, keep moving. a bad one but there's health just in about every corner in this room so if you do what I just did you get beat up pretty bad in the beginning there's a lot of opportunities to refill your health try not to miss your opportunities when they're vulnerable because they are pretty hard to kill and they cause a lot of damage if they melee you. Glory kills do work if you're jumping. So I got two gas cans. I really don't need that health. I'm going to hold off. Okay. So we cleared that room. And now it's shown us that that particular barrier is down. You can see up there, that's the objective. So we can head that way. Pick up any extra ammo that you left behind or any health that you might need for the next area. If you jump on top of these, there's some ammo for your heavy cannon. Should be some extra shotgun shells laying around too. So it looks like we're pretty clear. There's also an armor pickup up top. Forget about the future. Is to be present. So 
So this next area, it behooves you to make sure you've picked up all your ammo and grab that armor pickup before you start fighting this area. You got a nice advantage starting from the top or you can go at it with glory kills. Yeah, there's a tentacle there. This first area is not so tough. It's the next area that's pretty hard. There's an Arcanatron demon that you need to deal with, and a lot of the fire guys. So. Watch those cannons, grab the shotgun shells, and back up if you need to. But don't let that Arcanotron demon just go off on you. Now we should be able to deal with him a little bit easier. He's still hard. So one thing we can do is snip off his cannon there. So he's not so terrible. Wow, I didn't expect him to do that. So I ended up using an extra life, but that's what they're for, right? So keep going. Huh? And you'll eventually get to the Citadel. That assumes you've cleared all the demons in the area. Looks like there's one more guy here. Okay. So now the portal appears. She is inside that demonic citadel. I will mark her location on your HUD. Let's head through the portal. The gathering of hell priests is located just above your location. My scans indicate there is a lift at the center of this facility. So as you walk up, you can see that we've got a codex here. There's actually two. We've unlocked fast travel. Fast travel allows you to teleport to predetermined points in the map. Use it to find additional items and complete optional encounters. It unlocks near the end of a mission. So if you hang a right, as soon as you come up here, there's a codex. And last but not least, you can follow it around to get that codex that you saw behind the gate. Kind of a long way around here. So that ends the level, but don't forget to get this last codex. So, we've completed the level, we get a summary of that, and you should have collected all of the goodies. Almost level 2 for me. Pretty cool though, right? You've got 3 out of 3 mod bots, 6 out of 6 codexes, 3 out of 3 toys, and 1 out of 1 cheat code for Hell on Earth, the first stage of Doom Eternal. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you in the next guide.